Lori Ferris is with us. She is the program director at the Hunter School and the New England Salem Children's Village. And as I told you earlier in the hour, we are doing a fundraiser this week for Hunter School. Uh, the number is 800-897-8358. Lori, welcome. Thank you, Tom. Thanks for having me. It's great to have you with us. So tell us, first of all, what Hunter School and Salem Children's Village, what, what y'all are up to. Okay, well, the Hunter School, it's a nonprofit residential and day school. It's a therapeutic school uh, nestled up in the White Mountains of New Hampshire where young children, um, kindergarten through eighth grade, that have been diagnosed with um, disorders such as ADHD, anxiety, autism, mood disorders, etc., are nurtured, um, educated, and really celebrated here in our program. Mm. Tell me about the ed- energy program. The energy program is a really interesting component. We have a a component that's called energetic mindfulness, and what we've found has been really successful and worked really well with our children is teaching these children about energies, about thoughts, and about consciousness, and teaching them that they can... Um, they can empower positive thoughts in their brains, or they can em- positive, or they can empower negative thoughts, and that there are consequences um, from either. And we use mindfulness, we use meditation, um, we have uh, classes that we teach three days a week, and we also work very closely with families to help families um, shift and have a more positive outlook on on their children and the the challenges that they're encountering. And what kind of results are you getting? We are getting fantastic results. What's really neat is that the program is an integrative program, so we have all the mainstream modalities, a psychiatrist, OT, et cetera, but we're all coming from that energetic mindfulness perspective. And what we're, what we're finding is that it's very, very simple. Kids really get it. It's easy to apply, and we're able to affect some really positive change pretty quickly considering the challenges that these children have. Great. The number is 800-897-8358. The fundraiser that we're doing this year is for very specific stuff. You want to tell us about what, what it is that this nonprofit needs? Absolutely. Um, we really need help with the infrastructure. There's a lot of maintenance and upkeep to our buildings, um, roofs, furniture. We're really out in the country. Generators would be extremely helpful. Um, we also, you know, enrichment programs for these children um, are really, really important, being able to do educational field trips, um, scholarships, et cetera. We're, we're grateful for all of the support and particularly appreciate all the support from your viewers over the years because it really has made a huge difference um, in supporting our ability to help these kids. This is the Hunter School. The number is 800 800- 897-8358, and that's Hunter as in Hunter to Farmer's World, my original conception of ADHD that, that I came up with back in the, well, actually out of the result of, of starting this program, which was, uh, originally was called the New England Salem Children's Village, um, that Louise and I started back in 1978 in, in Merrimack and then moved up in 79 to, to Romney. And um, uh, so we're looking for a new roof for Mountain House, right? Correct. Yeah, and uh, generators because you're you're three miles out on a dirt road on the back side of the mountain on one side and a and a two thousand acre lake on the other side. It's beautiful country. Absolutely, and we're we're very isolated and we're off the grid, and we do get power outages here relatively frequently, particularly in the winter, and uh, it's it's challenging if it lasts more than a few hours to be able to properly service the school and the houses. Right, so. you're on the grid, but uh, but it, that you lose the grid a lot. Correct. <laughs> what happens when you get a good winter feels, storm? At times, it feels as though we're off the grid because <laughs> I'm looking out the window and it's absolutely beautiful with the mountains and yeah. can't see any power lines, etc. But that's yeah. true. Do you welcome visitors up there if anybody is, is listening to us right now and they say, wow, that sounds really cool and I'd like to learn more about it? Absolutely. We love to have visitors and uh, all anyone has to do is just call and make an appointment. But I like nothing more than to take people through the campus and get to meet some of the kids and, you know, the amazing staff and really see the incredible work that everyone's doing up here. It's a real labor of love, but it's so worthwhile. Yeah, it, uh, it absolutely is a labor of love. The toll-free number for donations is 800-897-8358, 800-897-8358. And if you'd like to learn more about it, there's two websites, hunterschool.org and salemchildrensvillage.org, that talk about the two different sides of the program. Principally, it's Hunter School nowadays. And um, we're doing this fundraiser right now. What um, I understand that Lisa Ling was just up there from the Oprah show. 
Or the she Oprah was. Channel. She actually has her own show. Um, it's Our America on the Oprah Network, and she and a small te- uh, television crew from New York were recently on campus for two days filming a documentary about ADHD, pharmaceutical drugs, and alternative ways of helping these children, such as what we utilize at the Hunter School. And what did what can you, you know? How did what came out of that? It was fantastic. Um, the kids, everybody, were incredibly welcoming. Um, she was so articulate, so sensitive to the issues. A lot of these kids have, um, they're not, they don't just have ADHD. They have other behavioral issues, and it was an absolute um, amazing experience to have the crew and Lisa really integrate in our day-to-day routine. And they did follow one student in particular, um, his story from Vermont, and when, where this child had originally come into the school on lots of pharmaceuticals and lots of anger and issues, and where this boy is today, which is he's doing incredible. Yeah. So it was very, very heartfelt, and uh, it was really a great experience. Yeah. This is a program that has been saving kids' lives and changing kids' lives for 30 some odd years since 1978 and and they need your help right now and so if it's the end of the year here more or less and if you think you have a little left in the pot to give to a good charity hunter school is a good charity and they're the the toll-free number to make a donation um you know with your credit card or however you'd like to do it they can give you an address you can mail a check is 800-897-8358. Or you can donate through the website at hunterschool.org and salemchildrensvillage.org as well. There, You can donate by credit card or PayPal. And uh, do you have a sense of what the total is that we, we need to, that we, would be a good goal for us to raise in this fundraising drive? I, I think it would be wonderful if we set a goal of, of $10,000. It would go a long ways to making a huge difference, but everything helps. Oh, I think we should do we should do more than that. If you want to do more couple than that? A couple of roofs. I'd, I'd, I'd think 30 or 40. But, okay. Um, let's, I'm, uh, keep us up to date on how, how we're doing, and I'll keep our listeners apprised. We should be able to do that. I, um, I really think we should be able to do that. I will do that. And thank you so much, Tom, and thank you so much to all the listeners. Thank you so much, Lori. Uh, Laurie Ferris, the the uh, program director at Hunter School. We'll be right back.